everybody. I'm back. Um, I am trying another camera angle. Um, again, because one of the subscribers told me she has to turn her screen upside down when she's watching me from the other angle. So I'm trying it with the camera kind of sort of behind me so that you can see what I'm doing in a kind of first person view as if you're as if you're me, I guess, right? So I have to tell me whether or not you like this um, angle. So um, I did my um, nail prep like I do. I did my cuticles with my pusher, um, scrub my hands, put on my base coats. So again, I have on um, aisle 21 peel off base and then um, Orly Bonder. So I have that down. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with the last Halloween manicure. Yay! All right, so I only had three votes. Um, two of them were for this one. So this is the one we're going to do. Um, it is Too Ghoul for You, I think the set is called. Yeah, and this one's a glow in the dark. So I'm excited. I like the glow in the dark ones. And then we're going to do um, some accent nails with Smash Hit and Pumpkin Sprinkle. Um, that that finger with the smash hit and the pumpkin sprinkle over it was my favorite out of the manicure that I did with the DIY set. Um, it just looks really, really cute together. So we're going to do those on some accent nails, but we got to take this out first and decide which nails we're going to do this on. Um, and then we can decide our accent nail fingers. So um, this angle does work a little better for me because I can see the camera and see what's going on without having to stand up. Um, but I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know if it's going to end up being too far away. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think of it. Um, just kind of playing, switching around, see what will work best for you guys. Um, I still, <laughs> the fact that anybody even wants to watch me and listen to me, like, blows my mind. So, um, I appreciate you guys very much because I don't think I would want to watch me. <laughs> Or listen to me ramble on, but um, I love the fact that you guys do. So, um, yeah. I hate all those sticky things that are on the strip package when you open your sets. I wish they would go back to the old way where the um, strips were not, the package wasn't glued into the pack. It was just um, placed in there. But anyways, all right, so... I think we're definitely going to do the moons on the thumb. Um, thumb and, well, hmm. Maybe, no, maybe I want to do the ghosts on the thumb. Do the moon on the pinky. Do this guy here, maybe on my pointer or my middle finger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, scissors, scissors. Um, so for those of you that are returning, you know, my name is Heather. I'm a color street stylist um, and all around nail addict. Um, and those of you that haven't been here before, I'm Heather. I'm a color street stylist. And a nail addict. Um, I mostly use Color Street, but I do like all of the other lines that Fa is, is part of, which is the in Coco, um, in Coco Japan, and Coco Korea, um, and Sally Henson. I do use other nail strips sometimes, but I don't like their quality as much as um, Color Street. I think it just Color Street or in Coco pretty much to me are. The ones that work really well. And the Sally Henson ones work really well too. But um, oh, I'm going back and forth. I kind of want the moon on my um, thumb. And the ghost maybe on the middle. All right, let's do, let's do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. So we'll do the moons. I'm going to put this on the middle finger and then 
we could do the pinkies with this and maybe a orange under it as a um like a peekaboo because these strips are a little too small for my pinky um yeah i think that's what we'll do or maybe i should just not use these ones at all and just use the moons and the ghosts Mm, decisions, decisions, what shall we do? Let me see what I have in here first. I'll decide. Normally I do this beforehand, but um, I didn't have anything open yet, so I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, so I know there was quite a few people that didn't really like um, the orange color of Smash Hit. I kind of like it. I think it's a pretty orange. It's a lighter orange um, than some of the other oranges that they have, but I think it's pretty. Um, let's see. I don't have many left here to... Um, hmm. So maybe this will go on my pointer finger. Um, I think I'm going to do a peekaboo of the orange under the thumb as well. And then we could do this with the pinkies. And then for my ring finger, let's do another moon. So we'll do the moon on the ring finger too. So that's where we're at. Um, yeah, I think I like that. All right. And then, and then, and then, I'll put these away first here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them back in this one. I might not have enough room to seal this back up, but we'll see. So today is the Friday before Halloween. Um, you guys won't actually see this video um, until uh, Halloween day, but um, I'm actually doing them on the Friday before. Um, I have another video that's going up the day before Halloween, um, and then this one will go up on Halloween. So I'll have some nail videos two days in a row so that's good I think um I'm trying to get ahead on my filming so then um you know if I can't film one day I've still got stuff for you guys to see um after this manicure I'm going back to once a week so during Halloween I've been doing um videos every two day, every other day to every two days. Um, I'm going to go back to once a week for the first few weeks of November. Um, and then I will go back to, um, filming a little bit more right before, um, Wow, I can't talk today. Right before uh, Thanksgiving. Sorry. Duh. I couldn't talk. Um, I'll probably do a few different Thanksgiving manicures. And then um, then it'll be Christmas. And I'm going to do a lot of manicures during Christmas time too. So um, that'll be fun. We'll have a lot of videos. I'm excited to use all of those strips the Christmas strips that I ordered, I showed you guys the other day in a video, my nail mail video. Um, I really like most of the Christmas strips. They're super cute. Um, I'm actually gonna go and order some more because I didn't get all of them and I wanna have most of them. I'm not gonna do the, the pastel set. Not my bag. I don't do pastels. Um, I don't think they look good on me. I'm very pale. I don't. I just don't like it. So um, I'm not gonna do the pastel one unless somebody really, 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 really wants to see it. 
in which case for you guys, I would do it. But um, other than that, I have no desire to have a pastel manicure. I'm typically more um, dark colors, black, you know, um, I don't typically do pastels. It's just not. Um, I like lighter pink sometimes, but even pastel pink, I don't care for too much. So, um, you know, like at Easter, I do them, but it's, ugh. <laughs> I don't even really like it at Easter. And that's like the pastel color time, you know, right? Like all Easter stuff is yellows and um, greens and purples and pinks and blues, but all pastel. I love all of those colors in like jewel tones. Oh, gorgeous. But as a pastel, meh, just not my thing, you know? Um, so, but at any rate, I digress. I was talking about something completely different. I don't even know how I ended up on that line. Of, um, but during um, Christmas, sorry, during Christmas, I will do more often. I'll probably go back to every other day um, during the holidays. So Thanksgiving and Christmas time, I'm going to do my nails more often. But um, for now, we're going to go back to weekly. Mommy, do you give me more and... chocolate milk? No, water. Sorry, the boys are home from school today. Um, they did a teacher in service day today. Um, so my little boobas are home. And uh, so that was Aiden that you just heard. Um, all right, so we're gonna put the orange strip down. I need something to put my hand on here. Gonna put the orange strip down and then we'll put the glow in the dark strip over it so that the orange is peeking out the bottom. Uh, what did I do with my, I thought I had a pusher out, maybe I didn't, let me take out some stuff here, so we'll do that, I don't know, I like this orange, even though it's a lighter orange, I really, I dig it, it's a cute orange, I think, I don't know, might not be everybody's thing, just like pastels are not my thing, you know? Um, let me think. I like it. All right. I need to move these up here so that I can put my thing down without sticking it on top of my strips. There we go. So yeah, this one I can use, I found I can use the other side of the pinky of the little tiny baby one and pretty much cover my whole nail. There's a little bit on the side there that's not covered. But for the most part, it's covered. So, because um, I usually end up not really using the pinky strips unless I do a cutout or something. Um, I'll use them when I do cutouts, but that's about it. So, ooh, speaking of cutouts, I got a new punch in the mail today that I'm excited about for um, fall time. I will probably use it a lot because I think it's a perfect thing for fall little accent to add to any manicure really. I got this um, maple leaf hole punch. So um, you'll be seeing that coming up in um, some videos. So I was very excited it finally came today. I got it on Amazon, but it actually took, you know, an Amazon time quite a while because usually Amazon can get me just about anything. Um, the next day, you know, but it took mm, two weeks, I want to say, for that to come. So that's a bit long for an Amazon delivery. So I was excited that it finally showed up today. So are you guys doing anything special for Halloween, trick-or-treating, whatever? Um, the boys and I are going to go with um, 
my bestie and her kids to a trick-or-treat thing tonight. Um, and they're going with um, my stepmom tomorrow to another trick-or-treat thing. And then we have, you know, the actual trick-or-treat in town is on um, Sunday because... Um, since Halloween fell on a Monday, they're not doing trick or treat on a school day. So, um, they, they're doing it on Sunday. They do it during the day here so that the kids are not out at night. Um, you know, we don't want anybody getting hit by a car or something trick or treating at night. So they don't like to let them do the trick or treat. Um, at night here, they do it during the day. So it's like two to four. We get to go around and do trick or treating at all the houses and then um churches in town do like a trunk or treat kind of thing so they'll have all these like games and stuff set up for the kids and treats and things um you know and so we usually go around our neighborhood a little bit go downtown to the churches and stuff they're the businesses in town usually give out candy to the kids too and then um if we have time, we go over to my parents' neighborhood and do some trick-or-treating in their neighborhood, too. Um, but I don't really like to let the kids eat a lot of candy, so they don't really need much. You know, it's just kind of the fun of going around in your costume and everything. And um, I mixed this nail so good. The side here, the cuticle, so it's kind of hurting. I'm trying to be gentle with it and not cut it again. So there we go. So this one's kind of like a little side peak nail. Um, I'm trying to do each one a little different so that they're all different. I like to have, you know, a mix of stuff on my fingers. Um, although I've been doing a lot of mixes, so I may during this kind of like fall time um, do some... Um, plain just like use one set you know I have a couple in cocoa sets that I got that are just really beautiful fall colors and oh, dang it I nicked it and it's bleeding nah. okay um, so I might do those ones just, you know, come on and do a regular old full set for you guys. No mix, just put them on like they are. Um, the one that I really am probably going to do that with, it's a, um, it has, it's a glitter and it has all of these beautiful fall colors in it. There are green, um, orange, and I think yellow colored ombre strips. Um, with like gold, it's like, so the color up into a gold glitter, um, and it looks really pretty. So that one, I think I might just do by itself because it does have different colors in it. Um, but it'll also mix well with, um, different sets too. So, all right. So this one, I'm going to do the moons, but I'm also going to put the pumpkin sprinkle over it. So we'll see how that looks. I'm really trying to have two layers on all my nails. Um, I don't want to put anything over my ghosty, so I might put a clear as day over that after. I'm not sure. Um, but for this one, I'm going to put the pumpkin sprinkle over the moon. Because um, then on the thumb, we're going to have the moon strip on the top. So you'll see just that strip on that finger. All right. I hope I'm staying in. I haven't really been looking. Um, all right. I like the little moonies, those are cute. Okay. Come on. It doesn't want to come off. It 
wants to stay with me. I am fabulous. I'd want to stay with me too. <laughs> All right. So I'm still looking for more people to enter the contests that I have going on on my VIP page um, because I have some nail decals that I wanted to give away and I'm going to make a mixed mini set to go with them. Um, but right now I think I only have five people um, and I'm going to do seven sets, so seven giveaways. So if you're interested in that, go over to my VIP page. It'll be linked in the description box. Um, and I have two ways that you can um, get entered to win that. Um, you can um, post one of your favorite videos from my channel here to your personal page. So to your Facebook, your Instagram, both, your Twitter, wherever you want to put it. Share my, um, one of your favorite videos, one of your favorite manicures that I've done um, to your personal page and tag me in it so that I know you did it. And then I'll put you on the wheel for the prize winners. Um, and then the other one is I have a post up um, with a Never Have I Ever game in it. And I have seven things on there that I've never done. So the first seven people to guess correctly what those seven things are will also get entered um, in the game. If you want to do both, you can, and I'll put your name on the wheel twice, but um, you can just do one or the other and get entered into that contest. Um, I have not decided yet what the mixed Manny is going to be. It'll be a surprise, but it'll be something fall themed because the decals that I'm going to send you are very full. Um, here. Let me see if I can grab them without knocking everything on my table over because I've got so much crap up here right now. Um, these are the decals that you'll be getting with your mixed mani. So they're, let's see if I can make it focus in on those. They're all different little pumpkins. There's some scarecrows, some acorns, and these are water slide decals. And then there's some that even say happy Thanksgiving. So if you wanted to use them for your Thanksgiving manicure or whatever. Um, so go over, check out my VIP page and enter if you want to potentially be one of the winners for that. Um, as it stands right now, everybody, that has entered is going to win a prize because I only have five, so I won't even have to spin. So if you want to give them some competition, go over and check that out. Ah, stick into my finger. Okay, let's see how this looks over top of it. Oh, that's cute. It's very subtle almost can't see it because of the black in the strip. So it's not too much. I was a little nervous that it might be kind of too much overneath, over, overneath. <laughs> oh, I can't talk today. Um, over the patterned strip. I thought maybe the glitter might be too much, but I don't think it is. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but in person you can, and it looks cute. Ah! All right, that strip tried to run away from me. The other strip didn't want to get off. I can't win. So, um, I'm also going to do uh, my friend, my best friend, her name is Chelsea, or one of my best friends. Um, she... I'm going to do her nails with the, um, I think it was the last manicure that I posted. The one that was the black nails 
um, and then the tan colored nails with the bats. Um, she really liked that one, so I'm going to do that for her tonight. So she has her Halloween nails done. Um, doing it at her house, I probably won't film it just because it's a lot to bring over there. All of the other, you know, my equipment and my ring light and all that jazz is, it's a lot. So I probably won't film it, but I will definitely post the nail fees, um, for you guys in the community tab. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. All right, let's get our little Mr. Ghosty on here. I think he's super cute. I'm really excited to do some glow-in-the-dark nail face with these. Um, it's Sometimes it's hard to see a whole lot of detail because it's dark, obviously, but um, I think it looks cute to do a, a little nail fee with the glow-in-the-dark. Well, I don't like that. The ghost is upside down. I mean, I realize he's not going to be upside down for others looking at my nails, but he's going to be upside down for me. I don't want him upside. Well, this is annoying. All right, I'm going to have to cut this in half because I don't like that. I want him the right side up for me. I'm the one that spends the most time looking at my nails, so I want it to be that way. So I'm going to cut this in half. And... We're gonna turn him around. And then you just put it just a little away from the cuticle, but not too far. There we go. Why did they do that? I mean, do they not know that we wanna look at it? They must know this. This is just unacceptable. You can do the same thing. This is just like what I did with the glitter dip strips um, when I wanted it down at the base instead of at the top of my nail. You just cut it in half, turn it around, nip off the corners, and there you go. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what I say with my kids. Oh my goodness, it doesn't want to come off though. There we go. These strips are nice and fresh, so they're good and sticky. Like really sticky. Theo's down there uh, snoring away, I don't know. He's not snoring too loud yet, so you guys probably can't hear him, but between my loud mouth and the music in the background, I doubt you can hear him, but he is at my feet snoring away like usual. So... So, um, yesterday morning, I think it was, Stacy posted, I think, what, what, her last Halloween manicure, or maybe second to last. Um, if you don't know who Stacy is, you have, there's some links and other videos to her, um, YouTube page, but she was kind of my, uh, inspiration, um, for starting a YouTube channel because I love her channel so much and all the stuff that she does. She inspires a lot of my manicures because she's just super creative with what she does with her nails. Um, but she mentioned me and put my page, um, my channel link on her community tab and I was very grateful to her. That's, I think it's really sweet that she did that. Um, and, you know, it is like that. Once again, I just love the community um, of Color Street people. And, you know, we just kind of support each other. Um, there's a couple other channels that I watch, too. And I love their content and, you know, um, get ideas from them, too. Um, and if you're interested in that, I can... 
I can go in and link the different accounts that I follow for you in um, the community tab if you want to go and check out some of the other people too that um, do their color street stuff all the time. Um, I don't remember the names of anybody's channels, otherwise I would tell you who they were and you could go just look them up, but I can't off the top of my head remember anybody's channel, um, actual name. <laughs> um, but I watch Tina and Marie and there's a couple other people I watch. Um, so I'll put their, their channels, um, a link up so that you can go follow them too if you want. Um, I think it's always good to see how other people do their strips because how I do them may not work for you. Um, but how someone else does it might work out easier for you to do your nails with. So, um, and plus the more ideas you get, the better because it just kind of, at least for me, watching other people really helps to kind of spark my own creativity and come up with different things to do. Um, so I like to watch lots of different um, nail videos and get ideas and inspirations. And um, I'm in a couple of different nail groups too, because again, you know, we share tips, tricks, nail fees, things like that. Um, it's nice to have that um, community and the support and whatnot. So. Sorry, I'm concentrating because I'm trying to clean up this edge here without taking too much off. Okay, we, oh, we're already at 30 minutes. This is another long one, I'm sorry. Maybe someday I'll get the videos a little shorter for you guys, but it just seems like it's never gonna happen. I talk too long and get distracted a little too easily. Um, all right. So I'll probably stop using the Peely base after this manicure because the ones that I'm going to do for the next couple weeks will just, they'll be on for a week. So I want them to last for a little while, but um, this one I still used the Peely base because it's probably going to be on there until like the middle of the week and then I'm going to change it again, but I'll do my first like really fall manicure versus Halloween. There we go. So there's our little ghosty dudes. I like that one. It's cute. <clears throat> Come on. Come off. Oh my goodness. I hate the little plastic pieces on the top because they always stick. The static is ridiculous. I feel like I'm all thumbs today. Like I can't, <laughs> like I can't get anything to work right. So, um, if you know me personally, not just through nails or Facebook, um, you know my parents, my mom and my stepdad, they come here every summer and they park in our driveway because they are full-time travelers. They live in their RV um, and when it gets too cold here, they take off and go to someplace warmer. Um, 
but this year they decided that they are going to put down some roots again um, and they're gonna get a house here near us um, so we're really excited about that they've been looking and they're gonna stay this winter um, so I'm super excited I'm sure the boys are super excited too that they're gonna have Nani and Peepa um, stay this year and not leave because they love it having them right out in the driveway they can just walk out and say good morning or whenever they want you know they're right there so they love having having them close by so we're hoping they're gonna find a house that's close and um you know they'll be able to still go and visit them all the time now since they will be here in Ohio. I'm excited about that. It's been hard though. Looking for a house is like, I, I wouldn't want to do it. It's kind of exhausting, you know, you find out something's wrong or you find a house you love, but someone else, you know, makes a better offer or whatever, you know, and it, it's a, it's been quite the interesting process for them. It's been so many um, houses. You like look at them online and they look like these beautiful homes and then they get there and they're like, what house did they take pictures of? Because this is not the house. Um, which to me just doesn't make sense. If you like kind of doctor the pictures up to make things look better. I mean, I would think, you know, whoever's coming, they're gonna come look at it. It's not like the person's just gonna buy it without seeing it. So they're gonna know that the pictures were not entirely accurate. So it doesn't really help anybody to do that, I don't think, but I don't know. Um, and people will try and cover things up so that you don't notice it until it's too late maybe, you know, and, things that are wrong with the house, try and kind of doctor it up to make it look like it's okay and it's not. It's just amazing how um, kind of underhanded and sneaky people can be. For me in general, I tend to want to think that people are doing things with good intentions and are inherently good, but um, it's not always the case which I think is sad. Um, so I often tend to jump to people doing the wrong thing, you know, even if they aren't because, they, you know, you see so much of that that it makes you think, well, okay, this must be everybody then, right? But then you have lots of really good people out there that um, are doing everything with the best of intentions and um, I know a lot of those people as a nurse um, you know for the most part nurses as a community we are you know good Samaritans we're, we're doing we you know our whole career is about helping others so um but that's not to say that there are not nurses out there that do nursing for the wrong reasons as well. And they're doing it just for money. And then those kind of people don't last because it's not a really, um, you know, it's not a super lucrative job and it's hard. And if you're just doing it for the money rather than wanting to take care of people, you're going to burn out pretty quick. But um, for the most part, that's what you know, a lot of nurses and medical people, you know, we're doing it to help people. So they tend to be more selfless, but um, every kind of group of people has their bad apples, I guess, right? Um, I don't know. I like that orange. It's a pretty orange and I'm not really an orange person. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. Anyways trying to decide if we want to put a nail decal on here too maybe on the um, orange finger I'm not sure yet 
I have some really cute ones. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I have some Grim Reaper ones. I don't know why I thought it would be kind of a cute thing because we have ghosts. So, you know, the Grim Reaper. Maybe they made them ghosts. <laughs> I don't know, though, if I want to cover any of this gorgeousness up. This is just, I mean, I love this. The pumpkin sprinkle and smash hit are a smash hit. They are so friggin' good together. I just, I can't. Look at that. Can you see it? I don't think the camera shows how absolutely freaking stunning that is. Oh my goodness. All right. Sorry. Okay. We are almost done. Almost there. I'm trying to take my time with the overlay because I tend to rush and I get a wrinkle in it and then it drives me nuts. But I did it. Yay, no wrinkles. Okay. So far I think this is pretty cute. I probably should have done an orange under the ghost finger do too, done a little peekaboo under him just to bring the orange over a little bit, but it's fine. All right, so then we're gonna put this down. This I'm gonna put all the way to the base, to my cuticle line. Um, it may not reach the top, but then I'm gonna put the um, moon strips over it, so it's okay. We don't need it to necessarily reach the top. I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit. And we're going to put that little guy down. Let's see, which side do I want it to peek out of? Mm -hmm. Probably this side, if anything. So I'm going to start over here. So that way, if it doesn't make it all the way over to the other side, it's okay. Because I'm going to put the other strip on top of that. So and that pretty much made it. That's good. All right, let's use our pusher to really smoosh that down. Okay, we actually made it. So I might not have to do it like a side peak. I can do it just the bottom. Okay. Um, And maybe we'll do the um, reverse French with this. So I'll take and cut out the end on those moon strips. And then it'll be the cute little peak of orange at the bottom. Okay, yeah, I think that we might do that. All right, so let's stretch this one out a little bit too. We're gonna stretch it lengthwise and widthwise. first and then we will smooth it across to the nail try and get it over to the yeah. other side yay I did okay and again I know it didn't make it over the top of my nail but that's okay because I'm gonna be covering that so um, it'll be fine where am I right in front of your face Heather like, where are my nips? I can't find my nips. They're right there. Just smooth this down first. Make 
make sure it's adhered good. And then we'll take off the little bit here that's extra. So actually, I might only need one of the moon thumb strips to do these because I'm not going all the way to the base. So I might be able to do it with just one. We'll see what happens here. All right. So I'm going to take this stuff off there. Let's. So now remember, always take off your plastic before you do any cutting of your strips or else you might not get that plastic off. All right, so I'm gonna use my 3 8 hole punch here. And I'm gonna nip off just a little bit. Maybe not even as much as I normally would if I was trying to make a French tip, because I do want it to go over most of the nail. So there we've got a little crescent part cut out of there and then I'm gonna cut off the tab part here so it's out of the way. And then um, we're gonna slide this other side in there, line it up just to cut off that little bit of the bottom. There we go. I actually missed part here of the tab so we can do that right there all right and then and then and then come on all right so then we'll take this guy and we're gonna put him just like this here Mm, I don't know if I have enough to do the second nail. I might have to use both strips. We'll have to see if I stretch it out really good here, maybe see what happens when I pull off my excess at the top. How much do we have left? No, I'm not gonna, I want it to look good, so I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna just do it. All right. And I think I actually used the tab side it's a little bit wider so let's do that again we'll put that in there cut off just that little bit right there Aiden's in there watching his tablet so that's what you're hearing him all excited about in there Sounds like he's watching um, Ryan's World. He loves that show. And he does tend to be giggling when he's watching it. It's amazing to me some of the things on YouTube, you know, like that family. I'm sure they, they have, you know, all three of those kids probably have some really good college funds now and you know I'm sure they have a nice house and everything and all from making a YouTube channel I wonder when they first started it if they thought that it would be that way you know like the first video that they made did they ever think that it would be a such a big thing and they would actually make money at it you know um I think nails is too much of a kind of a niche market type of thing that probably would never get to a point where you would have so many followers and everything that you would make a ton of money at this. But other things, I'm sure I'm actually going to 
at some point. I wanted to get this channel really up and running good first, um, and then I'm going to start an ASMR channel. I don't know if anybody's heard of ASMR before, but, you know, it's like videos of um, different sounds for that trigger people, and you get, like, the tingles down your spine, you know, like when you were a kid and you would have someone draw on your back or play with your hair and it would give you those tingles. That's like what ASMR is. Um, and for some people, just certain noises can trigger that, um, you know, like crinkling paper or things like that. Um, and then for some people like me, I prefer videos of like hand massage and arm massage and things like that, um, head massage, hair brushing, um, and that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So I wanna do, um, mostly videos like that, um, where it's, a, you know, you're doing like a pampering session for somebody, and sometimes for people watching that, you can, um, kind of, your body imagines that feeling and you get the tingles, in your head when you're watching someone, you know, brush someone else's hair or whatnot. So I think it's pretty cool. I have a little bit of a space at the bottom of this one that I don't like. So I'm gonna try and patch it with my, um, I use the tab all the time to patch little sections. Like it's got um, a tiny bit of strip on it, so if I have like a section that's really small that I want to patch, I'll use that, and often that works pretty well. Usually I do it at the tip, I've never done it around my cuticle before, because I usually get the strip down as far as I want it around the cuticle without a problem, but this one I did not, so. Um, but yeah, I can use, sometimes I literally use every bit of the strip doing my nails, so. It's not going to waste, that's for sure. Um, I think this is gonna fix it just perfect. And then once I get my top coat on, like right now you can kind of see a line where I've added this strip in, but once I get the top coat on, you won't see it. It'll kind of meld together and it'll be fine. Eh. getting a little ridiculous now, but I'm, I don't know, I just want it to be just exactly how I want it, so that's good enough. All right. Okay, well, sorry, another incredibly long video, but we are done. So there they are. These are my last Halloween set, our adorable little ghosts and moons and stars and our little pumpkin nail there's the thumbnail so i hope you liked this one um and i will see you guys in a couple days happy halloween bye love you